Hello guys and welcome to some war in the Pacific. Um, I got this game uh, oh, around Christmas and I haven't been really oh, I haven't really had the time to play it too much so um, I only, only need to really know the basics of I've, I've done some things with the uh, preferences hopefully it's all good um, let's just let's just keep it Japanese control we're gonna play um, a scenario today. Really just to, um, oh wait, it's no scenario, it's realism, there's the realism uh, options, I think that's really more for campaign, but anyway, um, we'd say we're just going to play scenario, we're just going to play Guaganao as the allies, um, this is the briefing, there's quite a bit of text, and uh, uh, yeah, I won't, because I'm lazy, I'm not going to read it, sorry, <laughs> you guys can uh, pause it and read it, and also, um, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of uh, cutting, editing during this because it does take, uh, it does take a while to load, uh, between, like, the turns. Um, and most of the time it's just saying, you know, random text. I mean, I'll leave in the combat bits, in obviously, but, uh, between the turns it's just, like, um, Japanese player, task force moving here, blah, blah, blah. And it's not, not too important. Um, so, okay, this is the first thing first. Uh, this is why I also find, like, it's a little bit laggy right now, as in, like, it, the delay is pretty back. But if I go, like, just here, and I go back... Oh, maybe not. Wait. No, it fixes itself, and, um, goes faster, well, moves around faster. Uh, it's just, like, right now, it's pretty slow. Maybe if I just... Come on. Oh, come on. Fix yourself. Oh, well, maybe maybe it's one of my processes is sucking up all the memory. Uh, okay, guys, just just wait as I try and uh, fix this. Oh, right, okay, guys. Sorry, uh, sorry about that. Uh, finally fixed it. So now we're just gonna go to. Well, I mean, like, I don't really know how to play this game. Um, I've kind of done. I've done. Yeah, I haven't really been playing. Well, yeah, I felt like it, probably one or two turns. I generally just like I know the commands and stuff. I uh, haven't done anything really. Uh, yeah, so um, we're just, I'm just gonna play around and see what happens. Um, and if you guys, uh, well, I probably I probably will make more episodes in this in the future, but I probably need to learn this game because I'm really into uh, like I really enjoy it. Um, and I really, right now, have no idea what I'm doing, and I'm still enjoying it, which is, which is pretty, <laughs> which is pretty weird. But anyway, um, let's, uh, let's, this is, um, let's just first of all go over here. So in this scenario, I played a whip. There's divisions here, and I'm clicking. Yeah, there we go. When I click on it, um, we have the 126 uh, United States uh, Air Force Base. Uh, base force is gonna go to. No wait, can I not see that? Do I have to zoom out? Oh, maybe it's oh, maybe it's lag. If I do plus swim. Oh no, plus or minus is for something completely different. Okay. Um, I work this out. Uh, okay, so the Z's units, they're heading off where they need to go, so we'll, we'll just leave them there. We have. I believe these are aircraft carriers, yep. Uh, Wasp, uh, two, uh, two heavy cruisers, Salt Lake City and San Francisco. Uh, three destroyers, uh, three, six destroyers, sorry. And because I can, I'm just gonna make a new task, task force, a surface combat one. And I'm gonna touch these three, three destroyers and one Heavy cruiser. Um, again, like a complete noob at this, so I'm always uh, always open to uh, suggestions. And I'm just going to send it. Going to send it this way. There should be some Japanese ships around there somewhere. I'm going to exit that. And this, this uh, air force oh, it also has a battleship. I'll just leave that there for now. And what are you? You, uh, yeah, I also make a new combat task force from this. So, just go to uh, service combat, 
and we go New Orleans and three destroyers. Uh, done. And then we'll set the test nation to be go further in somewhere there. Uh, the main the main Japanese base is uh, Rebel um, in this area. Oh no, no, it's Turk. Uh, sorry, I take that back. No, Rebel is also a big base. And over here we have in Port Moresby we have the Australians fighting in, in Kokoda. And in the actual base we have some fighters. We have this Australian, I think this is one of the uh, regiments. This is a... Yeah, the Militia Legend. This is the 14th Australian uh, Brigade Infantry Unit. We touch the Southwest Pacific um, area. Commander uh, Lieutenant Colonel, LT Colonel. Uh, maybe it could be completely wrong. Kicks. Um, not the best guy. Uh, we probably could assign someone else. Uh, oh, there's Brigadier Generals suited for, and there's yeah, what they're best for. It's actually we only have two, two. Um, yeah, we only have two uh, people leading, capable, well, best suited. Sorry, to be leading an a assault uh, unit. So, hmm. well, we'll march them. Go on, march them to Port Moresby to help the fight. Um, and when they get there, we'll we'll do something. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm just playing around, really. We'll see how uh, see how this goes. I'm probably gonna get my uh, ass handed me uh, to me by the Japanese, but anyway. Um, we're doing training. Let's let's go. This is what, uh, what are these? Oh, Steam still messaging me. Uh, not general training, I want... A sweep? Boy, no idea what this, any of this means. Um... Oh, these are Kitty Hawks. Sweep, now, it's, I'm pretty sure sweep means it'll just fly, fly over... Fly over the target and shoot, shoot down bombers. Can you sweep? Can you sweep your own base? There's some beautiful forts. Um, let's let's just put them there. There we go. Target that hex. And um, come on, load. And then we'll see what happens. You got maximum range of five. Um, we've got this bomber, which I'll bomb bomb the Japanese troops with. Uh, the uh, ground attack. I'm gonna set the destination target to there. Cut. So that's that. Um. Okay, so that's that done. Uh, I, I, I probably could do more and probably should do more, but anyway, uh, I'm pretty lazy. Um. Got some units in Sydney. I'm not sure if we can move them. Uh, nah, it's just yeah, I thought some brigades. A broken up brigade there, but mm. uh, I know. I think one of the, there's some B17 somewhere. Yeah, but I think they've been given their own yeah, orders, and plus they can't reach stuff up anyway. Um, we'll just. We just play the turn. Um, the good thing about this scenario is that these units are already set to go to where they need to go, so it'll be all good. Um, they'll go to Hope Point. Nope, I'm going completely wrong. Oh, I should go, probably go for these bums. So that's save game preferences. Uh, you, can, you can look at the database, which I find really interesting. I guess it's a historical uh, thing. It's like you can see all the variants of all the planes and how they perform and all that, which is really interesting. And it's not just for planes, sorry, it's all weapons, sorry, aircraft, weapons, artillery, uh, anti-aircraft, vehicles, tanks, stuff, infantry, and electronics, uh, radars included in this game, which is, uh, which is, again, very impressive, amount, uh, very impressive amount of detail. Uh, ship database, same thing, but for ships. In terms of report, uh, nothing really happening, so, the Japanese are beating us right now, so, that's that. Uh, bases... 
which are these flag things, uh, well, flag things, these flags. Ground or, or ground units, all active ships, all task forces, which we should have a look at. So we've got two, two on surface combat, subs, air combat, which are the aircraft carriers, amphibious, which is going to be the, um, the marines, and three more on surface combat. Well, these ones I made. I'm not sure if these, I think these two are the ones I made. Uh, this will test industry management, only really uh, important during the uh, Japanese campaign. Um, oh, well, yeah, it's also, it's mainly a campaign thing. Uh, allies also have a bit. Uh, strategic map, not going to do anything right now because we're only finding this uh, bit of the map, so. Uh, that's that. Combat reports, obviously no combat. Operation reports. There you go. Size squadron, size increases. Signet, um, which is the enemy um, interception thing. Weather reports. Uh, rain. There you go. Uh, which is not good, but anyway, we'll just end turn. Uh, well, end the order phase now. It goes into uh, executing the order phase for the Japanese and all that. And I'll probably uh, cut it here because it's pretty, uh, pretty long. Uh, well, there's the Coast Watchers and they like look at the sea ships and all that and they tell you what's happening, but yeah, there's a lot of this. So uh, I'll cut it here and I'll show you, come back to when uh, actual combat uh, ha actually happens. Oh, here we go, so we've got base some B-17s um, and they're just going to bomb, uh, they're just going to bomb and no losses and we hit, hit the air base but nothing very much. Or B-17s, oh and 6 zeros. see we go, we got some uh, air to air combat. Just shooting. Uh, and um, it's really impressive because um, they will also track like the pilots and the amount of kills they get and it's all of that. Uh, like people can run the aces and it's really cool. Um, but anyway, uh, that will get, yeah, that will get that far. And plus, the, those combat Bogs can get pretty uh, repetitive, so yeah. Anyway, more bombing. Destroyed one zero, and we have two BCMTs damage. Oh, here we go. So we detected them. Eighteen Betty's versus seven air cobras and five kitty orcs. Let's see. Nothing much. And obviously, if you don't uh, see this, we can go to uh, Eskit. Uh, Don, sorry, up there. And obviously, uh, the beast got through. Unfo oh, well, un unfortunately, but anyway. Uh, they got bombing away. We destroyed four of them for three damage. So that's pretty good. Destroyed four. Um, anyway. Oh, the bombing rock captain now. Um, Uh, and obviously we didn't have any uh, planes defending right then. Well, okay, so that was that. Uh, our ships are getting closer to Gorgadao, and um, haven't seen any enemy ships yet. We've been bombed, but other than that, nothing much. Um, I'm probably just going to end the turn again. Uh, even though, oh wait, it has maybe maybe I can do some combat. Uh, no, we'll wait for the other units to. Breach it. It's only the 30th Australian Brigade when we also got the what, 14th. You're moving, right? Come on, load. Uh, you're moving. Yeah, you're marching towards the enemy. Good. Uh, distance tra it's March distance 46, only traveled 4. Boy, they're gonna be a while. But anyway, we'll just uh, leave them there then. Uh, can you. We could do attack. But I think not. I think we'll just wait, wait for the uh, Marines to get to their position. So we'll just, we'll just, oh wait, we can show you the operations report. So lots of Coast Watchers stuff, um, and replacements and all that. But Signet is probably more important. So Shortlands and Turok, uh, which is obvious, well, it's going to have all the ships, because that's their main base, but anyway. Uh, we'll just, we'll just end the turn. Just gonna keep. I'll uh, try and get to some uh, actual action and see what happens. Probably I'll just end at Guadalcanal and come back 
and end the video here and I'll come back when I actually know what I'm doing. <sighs> I'll just show you guys what's happening. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get um, one uh, naval, 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 uh, naval to naval combat. Or something like that, and we'll have one land. Well, we will play. We'll definitely do the landing at Guadalcanal, and then we'll see what happens. Oh, okay, here come three uh, Beauforts, dropping bombs. I'm probably no our losses. I have no idea if that actually hit the Japanese or not. I'll be we'll be 17s bombing the uh, airfield. Supply dump, runway. More bombs. Nothing damaged, so that's pretty good. Oh, sorry, one damaged. Uh, landing, cripple TS. Come on, I want to get into the naval naval combat. Come on. Oh, here we go. A uh, bit of land uh, combat, so they're, bombard they're just bombarding us. Uh, we have 138 combat power against their. Oh, I don't know, quite a bit. So they had 241 against our uh, 139. And they just bombarded us. Unfortunately, I can't see any uh, casualties, but anyway. Uh, they have more units than us. I probably should be doing like more, but mm, I'm such a noob. Okay, guys, so that's that turn. Um, still, uh, the ships are just there, so probably next turn they'll make the landing. Uh, I've got some surface combat ships, but they don't spotted anything, unfortunately. That's. Let's get this Australian one, uh, which is actually headed by the Heavy Cruiser of Chicago, and we'll set that to. We'll move them to the short ones. I just want to find some ships so I can show you the combat. Damn, we can't move through there. Um, and we'll get, is, is there a surface combat? No, it's a submarine that's going back. Going back to um, base. Where are you going? Now let's set your destination. You can just go to Rebel, why not? This uh, just just uh, get into combat. And this one that's is that also service combat? Yeah. Let's set you You can also go to Rebel. Uh, something something will definitely end up happening. So we'll just do that, and we have a look at Signet again. Nothing really happening apparently. Um, and I'm just getting ten. I mean, I'm. I, I know I should be doing more. Um, so I'm always. I really want some tips on how to play this game <laughs> correctly. I mean, I should. I'll probably read the manual at one point, but you know, uh, reading comments is just easier. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, submarine, uh, uh, Japanese midget sub is firing at the DD destroyer. Oh, uh, and the, we set a fire in the submarine. You missed damage bridge, they're going to fly down. I'm pretty sure they're dead. You missed, there's another fire. They're getting rattled, I think they're sunk. Uh, abandoned search, no. That's gotta be sunk. Right, yeah, three hits, heavy damage. I'm pretty sure that's probably gonna be sunk. Is me just up? Oh my god, it's back again. Missed the torpedo though. Come on, you're dead, aren't you? More uh, depth charges. Rattle starts, the missile starts fire, fire and bridge. How many fires does that actually have in there? That was an engine. You miss, you miss. Damage the engines. Two more of DC. Uh, come on. Who's damaging it? Come on, sink it. Fire and bridge. Come on. Damage fuel takes is leaking. It's leaking fuel now. Come on. This is going to be done. Leaking more oil fuel. You missed the damage to you. damage the torpedo to, to surf. What? What did it do? Floats the surface in area of attack and then they. 
Oh, come on, it's gonna be, it's gonna be dead. Very, yeah, it's, it's probably dead by now. Anyway, moving on. Oh, and here come the amphibious invasions. Going on the island. And we're firing at it. And we're gonna probably skip this way, let's see. Firing at them. Uh, enemy troops. Landing craft. Uh, they fired it twice at the landing craft. Hopefully they're okay. So, got the... Got the amphibious tank battalion and some United States Marines. Landing on the planet. Come on, we have to take it out. So we lost 22 men. 7 guns lost and 3 vehicles lost. Some of them were accidental, but anyway. Grab it. DMS. APD. Uh, these are uh, these actually the ships are current uh, carrying in, and they're firing in the troops as they uh, get as they uh, land. I'm pretty sure AP APD. Actually, I forgot what it means, but it stands for anyway. Let's go. The parachute time. Wait, is it? Is it? Oh, we lost the radar. Is it parachute battalion? Is it did the United States Marine Corps actually have a parachute battalion? There we go. Oh, yeah. oh I did not know that. Oh, more sh more sh uh, shooting. Come on, skip this. Come on, let's take it. No, nah. let's let's take it. Yeah, yeah. Stop firing on the islands. Let's, this is actually just taken. Oh, oh my God! The submarines come back. What the freak? And how does it not die? Is that a different sub or the same one? It may be in H3. Oh, boy, sharks. Here we go. This is probably from all the way from the bow. Wildcats versus some middies. Let's just skip it to the end. We destroyed eight of them. And no losses to us. That was pretty good. Oh, more these are going to go through the bombing of uh, bombing over the airfield. One more damaged. Uh, no, no Japanese uh, camp that time. There we go. S all seven were damaged though. Wow. Ouch. There you go. The bombings. More bombings. Bombings. Oh, it hits one. I'm not sure why we should, we should bomb it. Cause like, what? What are these? Oh, oh, they found the Chicago. No. Oh, here we go. Let's just watch this. Oh, we damaged it, but nothing happened. Okay, they didn't drop any bombs. Look at the Japanese actual ships. Come on, where are they? Oh, here we go. Let's let's try and shoot them down. Well, again, another one. Come on. So we destroyed one, one, and they destroyed one of us. There we go. Okay, we're gonna bomb them. Apparently not doing anything to them. Okay. I'm not sure why we're bombing the airfield. It's like, aren't we trying to capture it? Okay, that was quick. Yep, stop. Yes. Oh, it took 20 at that time. Ouch. Oh, and they're still attacking us. Uh, bombarding us, sorry. Bombarding. We haven't taken any casualties. It doesn't look like we're taking any casualties though. Oh, right, here we go. Here's the actual attack. So the first uh, United States Marine Corps, or uh, well, first regiment, sorry, the fifth regiment, attacking. We're doing. We have way more strength than them, so we should win. So it's automatic bombardment, and then we attack. I'm pretty sure. Yep. We took the game ten casualties. We're also going to bombard them here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a parachute battalion. It's a marine called parachute battalion, which I found a little odd, but anyway. Oh, they just don't even bombard. They actually didn't attack it. Okay. I think one more turn, we'll capture it, and then I'll put the episode in the episode here. Okay. So now let's. Oh no, let's not click on that. 
So we have a lot of ships, uh, a lot of stuff over here. Let's set all these guys. Can we set them to attack? A deliberate attack, here we go. Uh, not bombard. Deliberate attack. Deliberate. There we go. So they should all attack. And let's go over you guys. Not the fans attack. Nope. Oh, not shock attack. And there we go. Is that so we should capture them. Uh haven't seen still haven't seen any Japanese ships for some reason. Oops no, that's my one. Where's the signet? Come over board. Signet. Ray transmission. Uh, the Took 2nd Coastal Gun Regiment is located at Took. Oh, good work. Uh, oh, here's actually useful. A regiment's located at Fos Fonga. And there's some stuff at Rubao, so... These guys should see something. Oh, wait, no. You're going to Rubao. Have fun. That would be that. Um... And we're sending that turn. Let's see what happens. And all this way. So this is going to be last turn. Okay. Bombard them more. Come on. Attack. Deliberately attack them. More bombarding. Ooh. Oh, this is a DD this time. Uh. Only six coastal guns. They have like nothing there. Come. Oh, and oh, here comes here comes this submarine again. And they failed to find it. Oh no, attacking it now. Come. Oh, it's all damage to the tubes. Oh, it's it's leaking the fuel. Damage the bridge. There. It's flooding. Come on, like it's gonna be sinking. Bridge of the SSX meant to make a sub. It's leaking more fuel. And it's about to rattle the... Come on. He said fire in the torpedo Like, wouldn't it explode? A fire in the torpedo room. Come on. Oh, well, well, okay. Come on. Just, just, just take the, take the two... Too, too laggy and uh, the sudden bit of grabbing now. And then I caught the episode to quit. There's 21 ships in Rebel. There you go. Yep. More unloading. More unloading. Yes, we know. Oh, here comes. Oh, here comes the. They're trying to bomb us. Oh, not Australia. Don't destroy Australia, please. They probably have, haven't they? Oh, no. Good, they missed. I only launched one torpedo and they hit. Okay. Oh, here we go. This is gonna hit. The bows are gonna destroy us, though. Here we go. Oh no, we managed to destroy. We destroyed three of them by flak and nine damage. And we still haven't been hit. Okay, yeah. Can we actually bomb them this time, or are we just gonna. Yeah, we don't tank any losses, but are we bombing them? Oh, you got the B 17s. Yep. On the airfield again. One damaged. And they're gonna attack that again. Okay. More B sound tanks. Okay. Why are we bombing the airfield where we're gonna capture it? Like, hopefully, this turn. Like, why? Why? Are we just making it harder on ourselves? More airstrikes. Again with the airstrikes. Come on. One day they can actually do something. We destroyed, uh, damaged four of them. We're damaging a lot of Japanese planes just by uh, putting these ships out. Oh, they hit the camera once. No. Oh. oh, and this this is literally they're going to be the only action we see when this freaking sub does not sink. Actually, no, that's the half five. I'm pretty sure we sank the three. The four is damaged, and the five's just appeared now. Yeah, we, and we know you're unlo unloading. Can can you do it? I oh, can. You done already? No. Nope. Still bombarding us. Let's see what happens. Still no damage. Like, uh, it's like, what are they doing? Oh, here we go. Ground battle. 
They're bombarding. Are we attacking though? That's the question. I said deliberate attack. We no, no, that was a Japanese bombardment attack. Is it our turn now? No, we're just bombarding. I said deliberate. Come on. Oh no, here we go. A deliberate attack. Do we win? One to one. We do. Ah, uh, we inflicted 520, 522 casualties. And we only took 13, that was pretty good. Um, our fatigue was pretty high though, apparently. Did we, oh, we didn't capture it though. I think we need 2 to 1 to capture it. So we'll actually watch this one, hopefully it works. So we're bombarding. We have a lot more strength than they do. We should win. And then we recaptured it. There we go. And they were retreating. Four to one, and we captured it. There we go. Let's see how the casualties were. Uh, 164 for us, and they lost 2,340. Pretty good. So um, I think this is going to be the end of the episode. Unless anything else happens, which I doubt. I think that's going to be it, it uh, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, leave a comment in the description. Oh, no, description. Leave a comment in the description. Leave a comment uh, down below so uh, you can teach me how to get, um, become better in this game. I mean, I only captured the southern bit of Guaga now, but like I probably could have done a lot more um, in, uh, than I did. And um, thank you guys for watching. And... Uh, I will be making more of this in the future at some point when I learn how to play the game, but yeah, thank you guys. Uh, so that was it. Uh, let's just have a quick look at the uh, intelligence screen. And there we go. 5,426 to the Japanese 1,412. So we did pretty good. Um, let's have a look at... Let's have a look at aircraft losses. I want to have a look at like actual, actual dead. Uh, I don't know, but anyway. So we lost five in the whole attack campaign, uh, and the Japanese lost three too. So that's pretty good. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Thank you, you guys, for watching, uh, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.